Hey, what's up guys? Today's video is sponsored by MyHeritage.com, but more details on them later. David! You better not let me catch you or you're gonna get it! You can't hide from me forever. You've got work to do, David! I didn't adopt you for free. Child labor laws didn't exist in my time, and they sure as heck don't exist now! David! These toilets aren't gonna scrub themselves. If you don't come out of hiding, I'm gonna make you use your toothbrush to scrub these toilets, and then make you brush your teeth with it afterwards. David, why don't you come out of hiding, sweetie? I was just kidding about the chores. Hey, why don't we go and get some ice cream? Mmm. David, I know you're under there. I can smell you. I'm gonna count to three, and if you don't come out, I'm gonna put your hand on the stove again. One. Two, three! Yo, David, it's time to go. We got people waiting out there. Hello? Or to David? Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry, just give me a minute. Hey, is uh, everything all right? I don't know. I think I'm having second thoughts. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you mean you're having second thoughts? What, you don't want to marry my sister? No, 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 not the marriage. No, no, no. It's, it's not that. It's just. You know, Tiffany and I, right? We've been talking about starting a family and, and having children and, and becoming a father, and I realize I don't even know what that means because I never had one. I... I, I don't know the full story. Uh, my mom passed away when I was four, and my dad was never really in the picture. I just, I feel like he should be here. You ever think about reaching out? I don't even know his first name. Well, have you ever tried using my heritage? Why would I want to use your heritage? <laughs> no, not my heritage. I mean, the site, myheritage.com. They're like an online genealogy platform. You can search and find your family tree. I mean, you might even be able to find your dad on there. You think so? Of course. Users on that site, they can obtain their family tree, browse and upload photos, and they can also search through over 14 billion historical records. Here, let me show you. Check this out. Kyle began to explain all the benefits of using MyHeritage.com. David had no idea that there was a site like this that existed. A site that allowed you to not only look up your family tree, but also integrated DNA testing. It's true. I mean, have you ever been curious about your family's history? Where you come from? Maybe extended relatives that you didn't know existed? Well, MyHeritage is the leading global service for family history research and DNA testing. They're number one in all of Europe, with over 90 million users worldwide. MyHeritage not only makes building your family tree a simple and enjoyable activity, but it also gives you access to powerful tools that can help you research your family history and grow your family tree. Create your free account at MyHeritage.com, then start by creating your family tree. Enter some basic details about yourself, then enter your parents' information along with your grandparents' information, and you'll be shocked at how big of a database that MyHeritage carries. An instant discovery means they found a treasure trove for you. You can now add an entire new branch complete with photos to your family tree in just one click. 
The more you grow your tree, the more discoveries that will emerge. When you get a smart match, that means another MyHeritage user has been connected with you. When you get a record match, that reveals other historical records about your relatives, including birth, marriage, and death, and many other types of records. And one of my favorite features, you can find old family photos and restore them. You can enhance them, you can even animate them. You can take black and white photos and colorize them. Imagine being the first person to see your grandparents' photos in color. So if you've ever been curious about where you come from or who you are, then make sure and check out MyHeritage.com because they're giving you guys a free 14-day trial when you sign up right now. So go ahead and click the link in the description box. We'll also pin it at the top comment. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to find your dad on there. Kyle, I don't know how to say this, but I can't get married today. Whoa, 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 David, this can wait for after the wedding. No, 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 you don't understand. Everybody here is part of your family. I'm, I'm literally here by myself. Nobody is here for me. If my dad is out there, I feel like he would want to be here to see his son get married today. <laughs> whoa, 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 David, can't this wait? I'm sorry, Kyle, I, I don't expect you to understand. It's just, this is something that I have to do. Whoa, whoa, what am I supposed to tell my sister? Tell her what you told me about my heritage. I'm sorry, I have to find my family. No, no, don't put this on me. Oh, Jesus, he always does this. David postponed his wedding that day, leaving his wife in tears. In order to better understand himself, David sought out to figure out where he came from. David immediately went home and created an account with my heritage. He started uploading pictures to his family tree in hopes that he could find someone. David patiently waited until... <sighs> okay, I guess I just have to wait now. You left me at the altar. Tiffany, what are you doing here? You left me at the altar. Okay, okay, listen, listen, I, I can explain. Oh, you better start explaining yourself, all right? Because I am way too young and way too pretty to be ditched at an altar. My brother had to lie to everybody and tell them you got food poisoning. <laughs> now the entire wedding party thinks you crapped your pants. Hold on, hold on, that's the excuse that Kyle gave? That I crapped my pants? Don't put this on my brother. He shouldn't have to lie for you. Look, Tiffany, I'm sorry I didn't show up, okay? I, I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it knowing that my dad is out there somewhere. I, I think I have the tools that I can find him. I just want to have a family of my own. David, your family is, is here with me. Our, our future children, David, it's, it's right here. I know that, babe. I, I don't expect you to understand. You don't know what it was like to grow up with a foster mom. I've, I've always felt there's something missing inside, some, some emptiness, some void, and I think finding my dad can fill that. David, don't embarrass me like this again. If you really didn't want to get married, then you should have just let me know. This doesn't make sense to me. I, I thought you loved me. I do love you. No, David. No, you don't. No, please, please don't. Please. Goodbye, David. It's a match. Huh. Rick Lowry. Is this him? Born in 1960. Huh. He lives here in LA. Hey, uh, you Rick? Have a seat. Yeah, sure. Uh, I'll have a seat. How did you find me? I, I use this site called MyHeritage.com. It helps people connect with families, uh, past relatives, fathers. Okay. Well, here we are. You need something? 
Do I need something? Uh, I, I don't know, I thought I would just introduce myself. Uh, get to know you. Is, is this you? What do you want? What, money? You want me to sit you on my lap, tell you a good night story, tell you everything's gonna be okay? I'm not sure, I just, I guess I, I wanted to get to know you, uh, ask you some questions. Where were you? Oh, that's what this is. You have daddy issues. I wasn't there because I wasn't allowed to be there. Wait, what do you mean you weren't allowed? I mean, Sarah, your mother ran off with you when you were born. I wasn't allowed to know where. I was serving this country overseas when I heard about her passing. There was nothing I could do here, so I stayed. I figured you'd be better off with foster parents than with me. Listen, I don't have any money, if that's what you're after. I work here as a janitor, and I gotta get back in and start work. You need anything else? I'm getting married next weekend. I thought you might want to be there. Yeah, I'll let you know. You'll let me know. Did I do something to you? Why are you so angry? David, what do you want from me, okay? We missed it. We missed the whole opportunity. We missed raising you, missed teaching you how to play ball, how to fight. All that's past. I'm an old man now, and look at you. You grew up just fine. You'll be okay. Good luck with your wedding. Good luck with my wedding. Did you meet him? And was he happy to see you? David, I'm sorry for what you're going through, and I'm sorry for not understanding. And I'm sorry about your dad, too. I'm sure he's suffering a lot. David, the family that you've been searching for is here. It's been here the whole time. I love you, David, and I'll never leave your side. Man, I was really detailed. I was telling Rowan that it was like running down your thighs, down your shoes. It was getting in your socks every time you'd walk and make like that squishy sound. Wow, uh, thank you. I really don't think you need to do all that very vivid detailing, but I appreciate it. Hey man, I'm not sure if I'm doing this right. I've never done a double tie before. Wait, you, you don't know how to do a double knot? Um, no, I've never done this. Well, me neither. Well, maybe, uh, here, allow me. Yeah. You know, the secret to a good tie is you gotta loop it around twice. Sometimes in life, when you do things the second time, they fall right into place and work out perfect. How are you, son? I'm good. I'm getting married. I know. Your wife, she called me. You're a lucky man. Thanks. I brought you something. You know, I'm sorry for the way I was the other day. I missed out all those years and it hurt. It's good to see you again. I'm hoping we can make it up and spend as much time as possible together. What do you say? You wanna go throw a ball with the old man before you go to the altar? I'd actually love that. I love you, son. I love you too, Dad. <laughs> hey guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Again, we just want to say a big thank you to MyHeritage.com for sponsoring today's episode. And this is kind of a crazy personal story, but a couple years ago, my grandfather passed away, unfortunately. But at his funeral, we had a bunch of extended family that showed up that we never knew existed. My dad had some stepbrothers, 
uh, some cousins, a lot of people showed up. Well, we ended up signing up for MyHeritage.com and my family ended up meeting a bunch of extended family that we just weren't aware about. And it's kind of crazy because the following year, we ended up inviting them to our big family reunion, which you guys can see here. And we ended up gaining more family out of it. So it was a really great experience. So again, we just want to say thank you to MyHeritage for sponsoring today's episode. Make sure to sign up. They have a 14 day free trial. Click the link in the description. Uh, we'll also pin it as the top comment. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe to this channel so you get notified every time we release a new video. And as always guys, make sure to share this with someone that you love.